sharks are getting closer to crowded beaches than you might think. That in a new report at Study Finds, and a new study is giving new... This guy's crazy. <laughs> Not me. No, this guy is nuts. A new study is giving new meaning to the phrase, this city will eat you alive. No kidding. Scientists from the University of Miami say sharks are not avoiding the local shoreline. Instead, these predators are spending plenty of time quite close to the sights and sounds of the city. Well, you know, everyone wants to be a part of the action, don't they? On a global scale, the world's coastlines are urbanizing at a rapid rate. So the question is, how is that impacting local aquatic life? Well, I never thought you would ask. <laughs> Researchers decided to investigate by tracking the movements of three shark species on or around the Miami shoreline. This included the bull, nurse, and great hammerhead. <laughs> Incidentally, my nickname in high school. Here's a pic I took this weekend at the Dallas World Aquarium. Pretty cool to walk under these sharks. Considering the loud noises, chemicals, and bright lights, the research team fully expected the sharks to avoid South Beach like a politician avoids the truth. <laughs> but that's not what they saw. Neil Hammerschlag, director of the UM Shark Research and Conservation Program, said, quote, We were surprised to find that the sharks we tracked spent so much time near the lights and sounds of the busy city, often close to shore, no matter the time of day. Now, plenty of animals like pigeons and raccoons thrive in cities. These are called urban explorers. They usually eat human garbage as food. Well, in this case, the sharks, they could, like, eat humans as food. <laughs> or at least nibble. Scary. Meanwhile, the group called Urban Adapters spend some time in urban areas, but still largely rely on the great outdoors. On the other end of the spectrum, we find the most land-based predators, like wolves, are called urban avoiders. They want nothing to do with civilization. <laughs> That's kind of like me, you know? Give me land. Lots of land. Under starry skies above, don't fence me in. Where was I? So watch out. I know they say you're more likely to get hit in the head by a coconut and die than attacked by a shark, but I think I'll still be careful. So as long as I can, I swim with people that I know that I'm a faster swimmer. <laughs> and then I know I'm safe. So the study authors originally hypothesized that sharks were urban avoiders, but ultimately they conclude they act much more like urban adapters. You can check out more information on this and other studies by clicking in the link below in the description and heading over to studyfinds.com.